Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, I'm back and I'm going to make you a holiday surprise. Tonight, we are going to be making cheese balls. Alright, for ingredients, we're going to need one can of corned beef. We're going to need a half of an onion, sure, half of an onion, eight ounces of cream cheese, some two tablespoons of chopped up parsley, a couple teaspoons of lemon salt juice, and four teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Oh, and blender. Alright, the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna open up your, your food processor and get that out of the way. You're gonna take your corned beef, just like such, and you're gonna pulse it, but you put the lid on first. Pulse it a couple times. Right, next thing you're going to do, you're going to open up your processor again. This time you're going to add in the dried parsley flakes. down again. Give it a couple more pulses. Then you're going to start adding in your other ingredients. You're going to add in your onions, your Worcestershire sauce, and your lemon juice. We're going to open up the lid. I've already opened it up. I'm just going to toss this in here. Make sure that's a white onion. Red onions tend to be a little bit, uh, a little bit stronger. These are stuck on here. Thank you. Other hand. <laughs> uh, Worcestershire sauce. Lemon juice. Close the lid. Give it a couple more pulses. And tonight's drink is going to be an alcoholic eggnog, since it is the holidays. Okay, and the last step that we have for this recipe is adding in the cream cheese. We're going to open up the food processor again. We're going to take the cream cheese. We're just going to toss it in there. Get in there. There. All right, close the lid. Look at that, look at that. Oh. And give a couple more pulses. Basically what you want to do is you want to try and incorporate everything together. Yeah, look at that real quick. You just gotta scoop that around. Gonna scoop the edges, give it a couple more pulses. And then you're gonna put this out in the refrigerator to chill for at least at least 30 minutes. Starting to look really, really 
like like cream cheese, I guess. Sure. It's more of a dip than anything. Use it with crackers, use it with chips. A couple more pulses. There you have it. Some cream cheese dip. I call it cheese ball. You can form it into a ball. It's all up to you.